The current version of Star Citizen 3.24 has been dubbed Cargo Empires by CIG, and with changes like the freight elevators and Argo Atlas power loader, what could be a more fitting choice than taking out a cargo ship to experience the game as it stands right now? The first thing I wanted to see was some of the new paints for the Argo Atlas. The Argo Atlas is a mech or exoskeleton players can use to more easily move cargo around, and on release it stirred up some controversy over what many saw as too high a price. Uh, yellow, blue, black. The yellow looks great though. The yellow is definitely the, the best one. There are four paints at this time for the Atlas, but there were really two I wanted to get a look at right away. In particular, the yellow paint, but I would be pleasantly surprised by the beer metal paint as well. Okay. It looks dope, actually. That looks like the um the thing that from awesome. uh, from the Matrix films, right? You know. Of industrial. I looks like good. It, like so the silver paint gives it more of a Matrix vibe than Aliens, and as Zerg had not played with one yet, I'd hand it over to him while I called up another Atlas. Okay. You haven't played around with it yet, so... Go ahead. Okay, I pick up people with it. <laughs> <laughs> if only, right? <laughs> the yellow paint, though, was definitely the one I wanted to see the most, and just as expected, it ended up looking really good. Like construction color scheme. Yeah. Does look good, the yellow does look good. We had friends arriving from outside, but you cannot open your hangar doors from the Atlas. They need to add a button on the actual ASOP terminal or something that yeah. just says open yeah, hangar, yeah, right? Yeah, so that you can just open the hangar without needing to like pull a ship up to do it. Allow party members to once I donned some armor, I'd explain the day's plan to Cyrus and Chief. Here's my premise that I think we should actually give a go and actually try and play out. So we are, you know, known for our life aboard shenanigans, living off the ship. Well, now it's life aboard to life harder in the sense that <laughs> you've got to bring boxes on board, which is what we were doing before for immersion sake. But now you've kind of got to do that. You could spend six hundred dollars war bond to get some uh, boxes with a skull on them. I will <laughs> decline. <laughs> Ships no longer have their own internal inventory, so bringing boxes along to store things is a must. Fortunately, I had plenty of storage boxes here at the spaceport. Um, okay, I, I do have boxes here, so I've just brought a bunch of boxes up into the elevator. Before pulling up the ship though, we'd need to clear the pad of our two Atlas. We'd be bringing these along today, even if the ship that we were flying was not the ideal fit for them. So, first thing we gotta do is move some boxes on board. Uh, I guess we'll put them in the first compartment. But as it is kind of expected, some things will always add speed bumps to prepping for the day. I guess we'll put them in the second compartment for now because the first compartment door won't open. <laughs> uh, I guess let's try it again. The Caterpillar has tracked beams of its own and I wanted to try my hand at moving both boxes and Atlas. And even though I've spent many hours aboard a Caterpillar in the past, it had been a while and moving through the ship was wonderfully atmospheric. Head up to the tractor beam. But we hit an insidious snag when trying to move the Atlas. Well, that was unfortunate. The ship tractor beams would not let us move the Atlas, so a max lift would have to do it. Yeah, good work. They got rid of zooming on these turrets, that's, that's sad. Yeah, it looks like it's in the ship to me. There you go. There's our boxes, and yeah, look at that. Hey, the arm is up in the air for me on this one, it's crazy. 
it would need to be moved a little to fit on board. And I'd be taking some of our boxes to place at convenient locations on the ship, like next to the elevator, for us to use to store items and gear. Yeah, that's pretty fine. That way we've got like a storage box that's like near the one of the egress points, right? Yeah. I'm even going to put the first item in. I've actually got some items to put in. Our first drink is on board, so we're, we're already... We're already um, stocked up with a drink before leaving the hangar I'd fill a box with supplies and bring that aboard as well we probably had too many boxes at this point but we could always throw away excess as we needed cargo space um, it's a bigger box than I was expecting but um were heading for adventure and the pleasant skies of Microtech would not disappoint. But Chief was having some troubles with the heads-up display of the lower turret. Oh my UI is uh, inverted. Wait, what do you oh, mean? that lower turret? What, what does inverted yeah. mean? Wait, you mean it's upside down? Uh, upside down and backwards. <laughs> it's a Drake ship, you know. Cyrus was already searching for missions for us, and at first he had nothing to do with cargo. I think it would be under mercenary, I think. Well, maybe it would be under bounty hunter. Oh, no, I got one. Stanton 4 Production Complex A, right? Is a, uh, distro center. See, another addition to the game recently is night vision weapon optics, and having not seen any, we were heading for distribution centers in search of some. Good old Star Citizen, where day and night should be 50-50, but every mission you take is at night. <laughs> Descending into the atmosphere, it was night time up ahead. I have a white contact 13 kilometers ahead. Mm. No, it's a, it's a Vanguard Sentinel on the ground. As we got in closer, I'd begin choosing a place to land. Okay, the hostiles are inside. This side and the other side. And it's the other side. No, it's in the middle, so it didn't really matter. I think maybe landing this side's better cause, just because of those ships on the ground. You know, I don't want anyone coming up, coming up across our ship and going, Ha! Huh, we could blow this up. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're on the ground. And this time around, the ship had already been named. This is the Emu Express, by the way. I think that was the name we landed on before. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Can't remember who came up with it. Someone, someone in our group. Uh, I believe that was me, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the Emu Express. <laughs> Hopefully I'll just get some ammo while we're here as well. I've got one mag for each gun. Should be fine. Should be plenty. So the mission ahead was to take out a bounty target, but we'd have to clear his goons before we could get to him. And as we arrived on site, there would be some friend or foe checking to do as well. I'll see ya. Oh, I think there's hostiles across the way there. I want a PID yep. for a sheet. Like, I don't know what color security we're here. Uh, yeah, they're yellow, and we're at, I think, a Shubin facility. I see more movement over by the uh, door of the... And there's someone on the left as well. Okay, I'm going to hop the barrier and head inside, and we'll see if I get shot up. Yeah, we're at a... Grey Cat facility? They might be security. I'm pretty sure those guys are security. Chief, did you get the mission when we shared it? Yes, I did. Okay. It's 
All right, they're not pointing at us. They're actually pointing inside. Yeah. So. Wherever they are, over there. Contact. We'd spot more security inside before hearing gunshots up ahead. Yeah, I'm hearing shots ahead now. Yep, same here. Yep, contact. Got two down. Three. Ooh. You okay? I'm taking fire from somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh, me too. Grenade! Someone calls grenade. I guess they're throwing a grenade. Yeah. Heading up to the gantry above. Oh, got three targets here. One thing that would be clear today was the AI were performing a lot better during these fights. Civilians. So you know, all of the goons were dead, and the target was arriving. Uh, Taju Ganon is arriving. Oh, okay, I see, okay. Uh, I see the marker at the end of the... Yeah, you're close. Yeah, they're up, they're up top. Oh, yep, yeah, eyes on. Reloading. Oh, oh, I'm switching to um, P4. Yeah, they're... Put it one down. Just... Just above my line of fire. Okay, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm real low on ammo too. How did she get up there? Okay, I'm actually, I gotta go back and go, grab a gun. But while I was grabbing a gun, Cyrus would push in to finish the mission. Is that, is that you, footsteps? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Down. Good, 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 good. Now we could go around looking for weapon optics with night vision modes. I didn't exactly know what I was looking for, so I'd just be checking them all, really. No night vision on that. Yeah. So now I guess we can look and see if we can find any interesting weapon optics on these guys' guns. Now, the new way of picking up weapons from the ground is, in my opinion, just awful. I really do not like the fact that usually you cannot hold a third weapon in your hands while having two on your back, but the new system also works so badly that it was glitching between allowing three or only two all day, as evident from the wheel when asking me to drop one of them. The weirdest thing about this new interaction with the wheel is that it is less physical than the old system where you are interacting with the gun itself. Checking gun after gun now and no night vision scopes. I'd be making regular use of the new loot UI as well. And again, I just preferred the single unified system of the inventory that we had before. Grabbing ammo from the loot menu, <laughs> like, because there's like a slight, um, jank to it. Like a little delay that makes it feel really horrible to do. Have you noticed that at all? Yeah. I just got a gold ticket. A uh, F8C gold ticket. Aren't you lucky? Wow. <laughs> but on leaving this room, Cyrus would find himself in a bit of a problem. Okay, somehow I am now trespassing. Like, fully. I don't have the timer. Did you shoot at anyone? Did you kill anyone? No. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, even, even back towards the ship is not out of the trespassing zone. The second I get in the ship, it's gonna start shooting. So, yeah, you're gonna have to get in the ship, get in the pilot seat, so you're ready to take off the second I'm on. And on leaving the mission room, I'd find myself in this problem as well. Wait, oh wait, I'm trespassing now. When I left, I left the mission room. That that's fucking stupid. So there's no way to, there's no way to, you to leave 
without being trespassing. Let's see if I can make it out of here without getting killed. Yeah, I, I used up like all my med pens getting out. Luckily for me, the AI was still focused on Cyrus, giving me a pretty clear run to the exit. Okay, I'm at the front door. I You're probably focused on me still. But now we had a slight problem. The facility would begin shooting at us as soon as we took off. Alright, well, if you're also trespassing, then the moment you get in the ship, it's just gonna start shooting immediately. Were you in NAV or SCM when you landed? I was in SCM when I landed. Okay, so, okay, so we should be shields up at least. Are we? Do we have line of sight to any of the uh, defen defensive turrets here? Uh, I can't see any by eye. I mean, what else is there to do but risk it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I probably should have set spawn somewhere near New Bank. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did remember was Cyrus' instruction from when distribution sensors were new that firing off noise will break target lock. So I plan to make use of a lot of noise during this escape. I'm gonna put some noise out. And here we go. Oh, now we're going to try it. Oh, they already gave up. We're good. Oh, you did pop the noise. But we have we have big shields on this thing. We do. But we didn't die. Which is good, yes. Emu Express, first mission, no deaths. No night vision scopes either, though. I, I, I did look around a bit. It's fun shooting people, though. That, that, you know, that part was fun. Yeah. Eagle-eyed viewers might notice we were down a crew member, Chief, who had needed to reconnect. So we were heading back to New Babbage to pick him up. As we sat down in the spaceport, we'd be saying bye to Cyrus for now, but Chief was coming back aboard. Okay, I'm on the deck. Little did we know that we would soon be joined by Vlaz as well. Once again, our destination was on the night side of Microtech. There are some ships down on the ground. A couple, actually, yeah. yeah. Constellation, something else. A hurricane, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna land just basically... Same kind of spot we were before, but the other side. Oh, trees. We're on the ground. Awesome. The mission this time was simply to eliminate all of the hostiles here, and this time they were all outside. There is actually there is actually a ladder over here. To be different, you know. Yep, that's hostile. Reloading. Oh, 
Quick. Oh, get two fire. Tier three arm. Oh, bleeding. Three stone. Okay. We'd soon spot. There were snipers above us as well. Oh yeah, there's someone above us, yeah. Oh, I see one of them. You see that guy up there on, on the... I can't see him. He's behind the uh, cover. Okay. Don't know if that grenade got him or not. Uh, one down. Good work. We were a little bogged down here, and really we just needed to make a push for the walkways up ahead. I'm gonna push over towards the uh, towards the um, steps now. Okay. Oof. Yeah, I'm on the gantries now. I see it. I'm real low on ammo. Climbing the tower, enemy markers would soon appear, and again, this does deflate the tension a little bit. Okay, so it went down. By now, I was again running very low on ammo. I mean, the AI is actually, you know. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we were pretty pinned down, you know. And even as yeah. I was running across the open ground, like, there were sniper shots, like, right in front of me, you know. Okay. There's one left. Yeah, we did it! We did it! <laughs> As with the last mission, it was time to go looting for scopes. No, I, I haven't found any, anything um, super interesting yet. Uh, a PT3 three times holographic? But another mission would soon pop at this very location, giving me the chance to use this sniper rifle. I see, I see flashlights up on the top level, so there's a good sign. Okay, he's dead. Is that a person, or is that not a person? But a return fire was about to cause a couple of problems. Oh, I see one. We're just gonna have you. Oof. Oof. He sees me too. <laughs> Tier one arm, shit. <laughs> God damn it. I was now injured to the point of holding a weapon was almost impossible. Okay, I'm I might be out of action for now because I can't hold a weapon. The T1 arm. Oh shit. Yeah, so it's it's all on you. Alright. Probably not far enough though. <laughs> Alright. Number two down. At least they're distracted, like they're suppressing me. So Yeah. Which is good. 
as I lost control of the weapon again, I remembered I could temporarily suppress the effects of this injury with a cocktail of drugs from my med gun. Oh, I can use a med gun, can't I, to, um, to mask the symptoms, I've just realised. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Get more down. Good work. Oh, the marker's on him now. Yeah, I don't want to waste this joke, so I'm going to move and see if I can get a shot. Two down, ground floor, there's one left, it looks like. Two left, sorry. One of them's on the ground floor, I'm not sure I can get an angle on that one. As Chief and I closed in, the final targets would hunker down behind cover. One left, down below me now. Sniper ammo would run dry though at the worst possible moment. Well, I remember. <laughs> I only had one shot left with the S71. We're doing. Got one bullet left. Ah, uh, he just ran for cover. Ah, uh, yeah. He's moving. All right, I hit him. Okay. <laughs> Good. Nice. We got it. Yeah. Okay. It's the second round of looting, I guess. Maybe I can grab grab some ammo this time. And also, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and get my arm fixed for sure. So after another mission complete, we were still zero for zero on night vision scopes. But a trip back to the clinic would be a necessity now. So we returned to the ship. Little did I know, however, that a tier one arm injury affects more than just weapons. And I was also unable to steer the ship at all. Chief, you might have to take over flying because I seem to have lost the ability to change the direction of the ship at all. Okay, on my way up. So, good news is we are we're in space. So, there we go. Nice. Our next destination was Port Trasler. Obviously my first stop here would be the clinic to get fixed up, but also grabbing ammo while here couldn't be a bad idea as well. As Vlaz joined the crew we'd be heading out again for some more adventuring and searching for what is becoming a very elusive night vision scope, and join us next time to see how that goes. Now in celebration of Pirate Week, CIG have very generously donated to us a Star Citizen game package complete with an Origin M50 and lifetime insurance and also the new Skull Crusher paint. For your chance to win just leave a like on this video and drop a comment below and we'll pick a winner randomly in a couple of days. Good luck to you all and of course a huge thank you to CIG for sending such cool prizes our way. As always I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our very generous channel patrons that you can see on screen right now. These very generous people keep this channel going with their support and I just want to thank each and every one of you for choosing to support the channel, thank you. And in this video I would especially like to thank Dexterity of 20 and Trevor who both recently became backers of the channel. Thank you so much guys for choosing to become backers. You're awesome and your support means a lot to me. Thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.